hey, is there conflict in your marriage or other close relationships? <laughs> of course there is. You wouldn't have a relationship that's genuine if you didn't. It's because we're human and we're sinful. We're always learning and growing and changing. I just had a, a conflict with my wife about five minutes ago. As I was recording this. Uh, my son was in the room, and she knew I was recording, but she kind of came in the door and, and told my son to leave, and I stopped and I said, Honey, I'm recording. Why did you he, you know, need to take my son out of the room? We were fine. He was fine. And she said, He's got an appointment. I have to take him out. And I was like, Oh, I'm sorry. I'd, I'd blown it. And so I was like, I need to go ask her forgiveness right after this. Um, conflict happens a lot. I remember on our honeymoon, um, having like an hour a day, times of like, she hurt my feelings, or I hurt her feelings, or misunderstood one another. And it's just like, what do we do? How do we handle those times when it's not clear? Do I need to ask forgiveness? Do I need to receive forgiveness or give forgiveness? Or what needs to happen here? It's in those moments of conflict, what do you do? Now, I can respond on the attack and the offensive, which is one of the three ways to handle things. Two are bad ways. One way is the biblical way. So I can attack, as I did this morning, and say, you did, you did this to me, you wronged me. It was a, you always do that. Um, I can't believe you did that. And that's one bad way. The other bad way that I tend to respond in, and that's an avoidance. It's moving away from my loved one. It's moving away from the conflict, hoping that it'll just go away, or hoping it'll resolve itself. Well, that's not dealing with it in a biblical way either. We're not going to learn from it. We're not going to grow from it. Uh, and it's not going to be dealt with appropriately. Well, Matthew 18 and Matthew 5 uh, teach us that the way that we handle conflict is that we need to move towards one another. And we do that by moving towards in humility and gentleness and in love. It would be like me saying, hey, uh, I may be wrong here. I just wanted you to know I love you, and I want to come together. And I wanted to let you know that when you said this, this is the way it felt to me. I know you didn't mean it that way, but, uh, but I'd love to talk about it if you don't mind. Now, uh, what's going to resolve from this? Hopefully, it, it's going to be understanding uh, it's going to be mutual love and respect for one another because it is a great way to demonstrate respect towards one another when we approach not out of anger or not out of uh, avoidance, but coming together um, and approaching one another with humility and love and gentleness. So let's do that with one another. Be gutsy and brave and be loving enough to treat one another as First John 3.16 says that even as Christ laid down his life for us. Surely we ought to lay down our lives for one another. Well, God bless you and your marriage as we love one another with humility and gentleness.